Hey everybody, I want to talk to you guys for a few minutes in this club chat about what we call the 18 Club Bag. And um, I get this question a lot from our students and our customers and so on that call up and they want me to customize their bag or custom fit their clubs. Because you know, we custom fit your clubs perfectly for you guys and for your single plane swing, but I always call it the 18 Club Bag. Yes, I know you can only carry 14 clubs in your bag. I know that's what's legal limit, you know, when you're playing in tournaments or playing, you know, and, or keeping your handicaps and so on, I understand that. But here's the thing, all good players, all professionals, all good players, all good amateurs and so on, have other clubs that they will use to actually help them in certain situations. And I'll explain that here in a second. But first of all, what I want to do is I just want to go through what's in my bag. And this is actually my bag. This is my plain bag. And I'm just going to go through it real quick and then talk to you what I mean by the 18 clubs, okay? So here's the first thing we got here. We got a driver, okay? I have actually a Callaway Rogue ST Max 10.5 driver. Um, fit up for me. It's the law at the loft, the um, the shaft flex, the grip size, everything's fit for me perfect. So, and guys, that's why everything in this bag is. I mean, everything, the length, the line, angle, the shaft flex, everything fits me perfect. There is no excuses in this bag. Meaning when I go out and play golf, it is up to me. This bag fits me perfect for me and my single plane swing, like I hope yours does, okay? But I have a Rogue ST Max driver, okay? 10.5 driver in here. So that's, that's the first thing I have in here. The next thing I have in here is I actually carry a five wood. Okay, I have a Rogue ST Max 5 wood. Um, guys, this is set up right here for me, the same thing. The, the shaft flex, the grip size, everything's set for me perfect. Now guys, most golfers, unless you swing the driver 110, 115, 120 miles an hour, should not have a, should not have a three wood in your bag. And we'll talk about that here in a second. When you're hitting off the ground and off the tee, it should be a five wood. You're gonna get more distance with a five wood than you do a three wood off the ground. Okay, we can talk about that individually. Then the next thing in my bag is I have a couple hybrids, okay? And I actually have a three hybrid in a four hybrid. Okay, so I have hybrids. Guys, I do not hit three and four ends anymore. I do not, I swing the driver between 100 and 105 miles an hour maybe. If I push it hard, maybe 110 miles an hour, there's no way I could hit a three iron or four iron anymore. I can't get the lift I wanted on it anymore. I can't get that height, I can't get trajectory. I can't get the distance. So I have a three and a four hybrid in there. Guys, and for everybody at home, for all you guys, you'll be having, you may have more hybrids. You may have a five hybrid, a six hybrid, a seven hybrid. You guys, we'll talk about that. We can talk about it individually with you, but it's gonna be hybrids in the top of that bag. No more long irons. Then if you see below, that I got a five iron, I got a six iron, I got a seven iron, eight, nine wedge, and I actually carry the Apex, the um, Apex 21 forged irons in there, okay? And if you notice here, I have graphite shafting in those clubs, okay? So if you look, I've got actually a recoil stiff flex graphite shaft in those clubs, okay? So I do have, I have graphite my irons, just like for 99% of you guys, I recommend a graphite in your clubs. I have graphite in my irons, love the graphite in there, okay? Now, let's talk about some wedges. So I have a pitching wedge that goes with the Apex 21, I got the pitching wedge, then I get down to an Apex 21A wedge, so I have a, basically a gap wedge in there, okay? Then below that, I I carry my Jaws full toe, okay, signature, Mo Norman signature wedges, okay? And I actually have, and they have a, a steel shafts in here, our grips on them and so on, fit in my hand size. But I actually, so guys, we talk about this a lot. I love, and these are some of my favorite, or these are my favorite clubs in the bag. I, have a, I carry a 54 degree, a 60 degree, a sand wedge and a lob wedge, and in my bag fit to me perfect. And everybody asks me this question, how is important is it to fit the line angle of wedges? It is absolutely critical to fit the line angle of the wedges. If you don't, guys, you're gonna chunk them, you're gonna fat them, you're gonna skull them. I mean, it's crazy not to even consider not having a line angle fit in wedges. But if you notice here, I actually carry a four wedge system. I have an Apex 21 pitching wedge, I have an Apex 21 gap wedge, and then I go down and blow that, I actually go to my Forge, very soft, you know, face, steel shafted, Mo Norman signature, sand wedge and lob wedge, okay? So I carry a four wedge system, okay? And then below that, I, obviously I have a putter. And actually this putter I have in here is actually a triple track number 11, love this putter. Love it. It's actually, I, I use the triple track version. You have the triple track or the triple track two ball version. But again, this one fits me perfect for length, for grip size, for lie angle. For, um, it fits me perfect, okay? And again, putter needs to fit you perfect. So again, if I review real quick on this, and you'll see on this is I have, if you look on my driver, I have a five wood. I have a three and a four hybrid. I have a five iron through a, through a pitching wedge. I have a gap wedge matching those. And then I have a sand and a lob okay, wedge in the more normal signature wedges, okay, the very soft, and I have my number 11, my Odyssey number 11 putter. That's what I have on that, okay? Now, that's 14 clubs. Let's talk, and the only other thing I have in this bag is I have an alignment ball position trainer, and I have a swing thing. As I love, absolutely love warming up with the swing thing, and you guys have seen that. Anybody who's seen me play in advance or watch me even do schools and so on, I'm out there warming up or I hit balls for you guys, I've always got the swing thing in my hand warming up. So if, if I'm carrying my bag or if my caddy is carrying my bag or it's on my cart, you're gonna see the swing thing hanging out. Now, so guys, this is 14 clubs. 
Okay, now let's talk about what I meant by 18 clubs. There are situations when you go play rounds of golf when you need to put different clubs in your bag. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. And I'm gonna give you the perfect example. Let's say we're out playing in a golf course right now and it has very elevated greens. In fact, we're out here at Oak Tree National. And on this golf course, I can describe three holes for you right now. Number 11 is, a, is an over 400 par four. In fact, for the back tees, it's almost 500 yard par four. That, ha, that when you go down to the green, it's called a windmill hole. When you go down to the, when you go to the green, it's a very elevated green. In fact, it's about 30 feet in top and, and above you when you're hitting towards it. A very slick, very hard, very fast green. I mean, it's a championship golf course, okay? Well, guys, Typically, when, I, when I'm hitting into this green, I've got 180, 190, 200 yards into the green, as everybody does. Well, I can tell you right now, if I'm trying to hit my five iron into that green, there's no way I can have enough trajectory to hold that green. There's no way. It'll come in with just a, basically the height of that green. It'll hit that green and skip right over. It's the same thing in number six out here. It's the same thing in number 17 out here. So this golf course, it's a Pete Dye design course, has greens that sit above you, okay, as a lot of golf courses do. Well, I'll tell you right now, if I was out here playing in a tournament or playing this course all the time, I'm pulling this five iron, I'm pulling it out of the bag it's gone and I'm putting this five hybrid right here I'm putting it in the bag so there's a five hybrid I carry so I'll just take that I'll put that take this take my five iron out put my five hybrid in you guys that's what I do because I it fits the situation there's a course I play in Missouri every year in, in our late team championships we play there for four days and all the greens sit up way above us there's no question I'm gonna put that five hybrid in the bag if I have to have a if I have long shots I can get over trees in the corner the five hybrids in the bag now let's say I come out in this golf course today and it's blowing 40 miles an hour, okay? So I'm playing a course that's blowing a lot, really, really hard. I don't want to get that ball up in the air. I'm gonna take that five hybrid out and put that five iron back in. Even though I gotta hit some height on those shots, it's still too windy for that five hybrid. So guys, it's the situations we're playing in. Here's the next one. Let's say it's really, really, really windy out. I mean, it's howling out, okay? I might take and put my two hybrid in the bag. I might take and stick a two hybrid in here and I might pull out the three, the five wood because that five wood's gonna get a lot of height on those shots. I mean, so that I wanna keep that ball down. I wanna hit it down like some knockdown shots off the tree. It's almost like a driving iron for me. So I'll actually pull this five hybrid, five wood, and I will put a two hybrid in the bag, okay? So guys, there's another club. It gives me better, better options. The last thing I wanna do is hit off a tee ball, hit off a tee shot, or maybe the long par three, or maybe on you know, a short par four, or maybe a really tight par four, maybe, and it's really, really windy out, and hit a five wood. That ball's gonna get way too high in the air. So I'll put a two hybrid in there, okay? So I have that option. Here's another option, and this is one that I use a lot. Go play a really, really tight golf course. Well, for me, and this is a three wood, this is a Rogue ST Max three wood that matches my five wood exactly. For me, I want to hit, let's say it's a really, really tight golf course, and it's just not a lot of drivers out here today. So it's a shorter course with a lot that's not a lot of drivers. I will put the three wood in my bag, okay? I'll put it in my bag, okay? I will pull the five wood out, or I'll pull maybe one of the hybrids out. I'll put the three wood in my bag, and I'll tee it up. Because, yes, I will hit the five wood further off the ground than this three wood, but off a tee, this three wood's going to go a little bit longer, okay? So I will actually put this three wood, I will put this three wood in my bag and pull one of the clubs out, okay? It's another clubbing, another option. Guys, so I'm on a really, really tight golf course. It's a shorter course. Play a lot of these golf courses. It's, I don't want to hit drivers off the tee. I want to hit fairy woods off the tee. I'll put that three wood in. That's the round I'll play. And then the last one, you know, the, the other 18th club I talk about, and this is, as you know, I'm going to talk about this, 64 degree, full toe jaws, wide wedge. Let's say you're playing a shorter golf course that has greens that are like upside down bowls. And you've got to hit the ultimate flop shots if you miss the greens. So you've got to get it up there fast, okay? That's where I'll put this in. And typically, if I put a 64 degree in, I will typically pull out one of my wedges, like one of my A wedges, or I might even pull out the five iron. Because I'll tell you what right now, if I'm playing a shorter course that has a lot of bowl, like the greens are bold and I got to hit incredible flop shots, probably not gonna hit the five iron a lot. In fact, I probably might even not even hit it one time in the entire round, and I can make up for that with like a choke down four hybrid or maybe trying to hit a six iron hard. So I'll put that 64 in there. So that's what I mean by a four, an 18 club bag. So you guys saw what my normal bag setup is, my normal makeup is, with a driver, with a five wood, with a three and a four hybrid, irons through all the wedges, got my putter. But then I always had these other options, because guys, I, you've got to get your best chance to play your best round of golf. Conditions dictate your best round. 
If I have a five hybrid in my bag and it's blowing 30 out here or 40 miles an hour out here, I don't want to get that ball up in the air. I'm going to put the five iron back in. If it's really calm out, it's a really nice day like it is today and the greens are really high and, and i got to get height into those greens, I'm going to put that five hybrid in there. Okay, Understand that. If I'm playing upside down bowl greens and it's a beautiful day out and I'm playing upside down bowl greens in a shorter golf course, I'll throw a 64 degree in a heartbeat. I mean, I want to get that extra alternate flop shot. I mean, guys, if I hit a 64 degree wedge hard, it might go 40 yards. It might, might go 50 yards, but it's great for those flop shots around the green. Okay? Okay? If I'm sitting there playing a really, really, really tight golf course, I mean really tight golf course, I might throw a three wood in there. Okay. So anyway, guys, that's an 18 club bag. That's why I was guys that we always say all good players, all good, you know, pros, all good amateurs will have 18 clubs in the trunk. They're going to figure out which ones they want to play with today to give them their best chances. But ultimately what it comes down to, your clubs need to fit you perfect for length, line angle, shaft, flex, and grip size. Okay, and then obviously set makeup. Let me help you with that. Let me take care of that. You can always email me at timg at gravesgolf.com. Timg at gravesgolf.com. You can email me anytime. I'll get you a fitting form. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And we can make sure your clothes fit you perfect and you got the right setup makeup for you. You guys may be carrying a six hybrid, a seven hybrid. You may be having you know two edges versus four, whatever it is. We'll make sure that set fits for you, for the courses you play, for your set makeup, and everything else you need. So again, timg at gravesgolf.com. Give me a holler anytime. We'll get you guys taken care of.